The woman accused of shooting and killing a 14-year-old in Milwaukee was in court this morning. And investigators say she admitted to being the shooter. Christina Van Zels explains why she says she fired the shots. Christina joins us live. Yeah, Ben, this all started, investigators say, with a group of people trying to steal a car. Now, that car belonged to Zariah Johnson's sister. Johnson says she was just trying to scare the kids. But here is what the family of that 14-year-old who was killed has to say about that. This is a violent, serious crime. 22-year-old Zariah Johnson is charged with first-degree reckless homicide. Police were called to 39th and Vliet last Thursday and found 14-year-old Elijah Golden Richmond shot in the back. You just want the truth and really what happened. A witness told police a group wanted to steal a car and broke the window of a Hyundai near 37th. It was Johnson's sister's car. The group ran when they saw that same vehicle drive by. That's when the witness told investigators they ran, and then the woman started shooting at them. For you to actually follow them after they're running away, running for their lives, they're no longer a threat. Johnson told police she didn't want to kill anyone, just to scare them. So she got in the car to look for the people who broke into her sister's car. That's when she told police she saw a group of four who ran off. That's when prosecutors say she fired at them four times using her mom's gun. Pull out a gun and you shoot that gun, you intend to kill. Investigators say it wasn't until Johnson saw a Facebook live stream of a person who was shot in the back in that same area dead. She realized then she was likely the person who killed him and admitted it to police. In the meantime, Golden Richmond's family says he was never one to steal a car as they try to grasp what happened. It's unbelievable. Like, it's unbelievable. And that's why I say I really want the kids that he was with to speak out. Today, Johnson's bond was set at $150,000. Reporting live outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News.